Okay, let's talk about film when you're making your screens. You're gonna need a way to create film. And this is what the film looks like. This is waterproof transparency film. I get this from Ryanette. And you can see the print on here is actually uh, UV ink that's printed onto here. And it blocks UV light from getting to the emulsion in my screen. So this is how we're gonna create a stencil in our screen. And so we wanna make sure that we have film or have the capability of printing film with UV ink. Now what you can see the printer I'm using right here is a Canon IP8720 um, and it's a great little printer. It's only 200 bucks on or 200 to 250 or so on Amazon. Um, it's a great printer. I used to use the Epson 1430, the Artisan, and while it was a great printer, it's, uh, it's, it's not produced anymore. So getting parts and repair, um, uh, not as easy, but you want to make sure that you have a good printer, and I recommend this IP8720. And then you want to have some good ink. So with this printer, I have the ink cartridges swapped out, and you can see those cartridges here. So these are the cartridges that I'm using. These are made for the Canon um, EP80, IP8720, just like I have here. And then these ink cartridges actually come with this ink, but I have more ink as for it. And this is from Film Direct. That's where I got the cartridges. And the ink itself is, you can see, UV blocking dye. And so this ink is what goes in the cartridges. These cartridges are refillable. I have a second set here. And that goes in this printer. And then you want to make sure you have a good rip on your computer. And we'll talk about RIP in another video, but just know that you're gonna need a good printer, you're gonna need some transparency film, and you will take this film, it's two-sided, so you can. there's a coating on one side and it's slick on the other, so it's a little bit more um, tacky, a little rougher over here, and super slick on this side. You can also tell, lick your finger and touch on the back side, it doesn't stick. Lick my finger and touch on this front side, and it actually sticks. So this is the side that gets printed. We put this face up in the printer, just like that. We'll make sure you have everything extended. And then I send the artwork to here and it's gonna print using that UV blocking die. And that's very important because you wanna make sure that, that these transparencies are not printed with regular ink. If you do print them with reg regular ink out of just a standard inkjet printer, the ink that comes with this printer, in fact, um, then you're gonna be minimized the amount of time you can expose your screen. So you wanna make sure that you have that UV blocking ink, you're gonna get much better exposures. If you have just standard ink, you're gonna to have to set your settings so that you print as, as much ink as possible on that transparen transparency to make sure that you get as much light blocked as possible, but you're gonna be minimized the amount of time you can expose your screen because light's going to leak through that print and you're going to be able to hold that up to the light and see that it's leaking through and it's not blocking completely. So Canon IP8720, you can get it on Amazon, um, and then filmdirect.com to get the UV blocking die and the cartridges that swap out, but make sure you have a good rip, and I use the PrintFab rip, which you can get from filmdirect.com. All right, so that's the good film printer. There are a lot of options out there. You can do the large Epson you know, roll printers, um, you can also order the film from other companies. I sell the film. If you want to send me the artwork, I will print film and send it to you. But otherwise, if you're going to print your own film, this is a great printer to start off with. Uh, it's a workhorse and it will last you a long time. But it's also affordable enough that when it does break down, rather than fixing or going through downtime, very easy to spend another couple hundred bucks, get another one off of Amazon and know that you're good to go.